prior to any maneuver, visually scan the entire area for collision avoidance. Any aircraft that appears to have no relative motion is likely to be on a collision course. If a target shows no lateral or vertical motion but increases in size, take evasive action. This 10 degrees is what we're going to use for scanning purposes. Now, whenever you're flying in VFR conditions, you must continuously scan for traffic to avoid collisions. You must focus your attention outside the cockpit and scan the sky slowly and systematically to detect a moving aircraft. Focus on small sections of the sky at a time, no more than 10 degrees wide, to avoid overwhelming your eyes with the entire sky. Use small, evenly spaced eye movements. Don't dart your eyes back and forth. Before starting a turn or other maneuver, visually scan the entire area for traffic. Any aircraft that appears to have no relative motion is likely to be on a collision course. If the aircraft increases in size but doesn't move, take evasive action. When climbing or descending in VFR, make gentle banks right and left and level off occasionally to help you scan all the airspace around you. Haze reduces the ability to see traffic or train during flight, making all features appear to be further away than they actually are. Take note of hazy conditions when you get a pre-flight briefing. It's important to remember, however, that 81% of mid-air collisions and close calls occur in clear skies and unrestricted visibility conditions, all the more reason to keep your scan active. To improve your ability to see other traffic at night, avoid bright white lights for at least 30 minutes before takeoff. You need to be prepared for the higher density traffic at airports with control towers, and ATIS can help you plan to fly the appropriate traffic pattern. Automated Terminal Information Service, or ATIS, is an important element of collision avoidance. ATIS is one way to prepare and plan your traffic pattern. ATIS provides weather information such as ceilings, visibility, temperature and dew point, altimeter setting, and runway and use. Let's listen to an example. Welcome back. Let's cover a couple of questions on collision avoidance. Prior to starting each maneuver, pilots should A, B, or C. One is correct. All right, let's tackle the answer here. Prior to starting each maneuver, pilots should B. Visually scan the entire area for collision avoidance. And a reminder, scanning the sky for other aircraft is a key factor in collision avoidance.